Yeah, this year has been different, but we, we knew about it. I mean, it wasn't any secret that they were seniors last year uh, and, and the successes that that, that class had. Uh, we, we knew that the next class coming in, we were going to be dependent on a lot of them. Uh, and so uh, I think we were, uh, we were just understanding that that's how it was going to be. After scoring 14th at last year's NCAA Championships, the Texas A&M men graduated a gargantuan class, including NCAA scorers Mario Castillo, Brock Benetti, and diver Tyler Henschel. The first couple of dual meets, I'm used to Mario being there in my events, so he's not there, uh, and I kind of, the first meet, I was like, wow, like, I, this is my job to win the breaststrokes and the IMs, there's no one else really, and we've all kind of accepted that. It's been definitely a transition, we're getting used to not having guys that we could always count on. We lost some huge pieces, some huge pieces, uh, not just in the pool, but out of the pool, that kind of made our team what it was, and we're kind of finding our own, uh, we're getting better every meet. We still have a ways to go as far as the maturity of this team. Uh, obviously with last year's class, I mean they had uh, some precedents that were already set as far as things that they, how they did things and, 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 and graduating that class has been, uh, has had, you know, every team is different, every year is different and uh, just seeing the uh, transition, we still have a whole lot of things that we're working on, a lot of things that have to happen in this class. Uh, we're pushing, they're pushing and we're just trying to get there as fast as we can. At the beginning I thought it would be a sprinter, like 50 to 100 freestyle. That's what I thought my main focus would be, and then, um, which I still think I'll, that'll be part of my focus. But uh, this summer, I really uh, kind of improved a lot in the tuna freestyle, so that's an event that they're starting to train me a little bit more in, and I'm excited for like the challenge of it because it's a really fun race, and I enjoy the strategy behind it. How can the incoming freshmen, as well as the leadership from the now upperclassmen, guide the A&M men to the same level or higher? We got you know, many of the best kids in Texas and then some of the kids who transferred in also and you know obviously I really think we have a top five recruiting class this freshman class and I think we have a lot of SEC and NCAA champions in this class. So it's, it's exciting times for us. Texas A&M is a definitely a growing program. Program We're growing pretty fast so um, I know that there is I guess pressure on the entire team to keep improving on what they did last year and there's um, a lot of excitement here and the reason I came here is because I wanted to be a part of something new so I'm really excited to be a part of that and just to keep the, like take the next step for the journey that Texas A&M is on. Every freshman has to learn how to swim fast in season and so we're definitely transitioning to these guys that are world-class swimmers I mean especially a handful of them are really really amazing but they're still learning how to swim fast in season so even though we know we'll be able to count on them when they're tapered they're still kind of learning that transition for a dual meet. Obviously there's you know some bumps and bruises where we have right now, but I think at the end of the year at SECs and NCAAs, we're going to show the country that we, you know, we're a very talented team, we're a top 10 team in the country, and we're going to grow every year.